What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Appreciate you all joining me in today's gloomy day. Actually, what's even more gloomier, if that's a word, is this guys. We're having more issues with the STI guys. Surprise, surprise. This time the car is beginning to overheat. For the last 88,000 miles, it's always been in the center. But we go to my little Game Boy computer here. We reached a high of 239. I feel like that's a little high and it's only 64 degrees outside right now guys so it's not also really hot we're gonna see what this means because uh i just got the water pump and thermostat replaced this uh shouldn't be faulty the fans are working for sure coolant looks pretty good too while i was sitting in traffic the coolant temperature was rising went all the way to 240 degrees fahrenheit for some of you that's probably like oh that's normal not for me. Normal temps for this car is like 180 all the way to like 210 or 215, something like that. But 240 degrees, guys, was a little excessive, I thought, for my car. Not only that, but I turned up the heating inside of the car, and it just felt like room temperature air getting pushed, if that, if that makes any sense, guys. And there we have it, guys. Subaru having problems, STIs, EJs, some of the best motors in town, guys. Um, this is... real reliable. A lot of people would agree that uh, those are symptoms of your head gaskets beginning to go out. There's the heads lift, apparently. Um, and when that does happen, coolant begins to go where it's not supposed to go and therefore the cooling fluctuates as the car was at that time when I was sitting in traffic. The temperature would rise up and as soon as I began to move, it would drop down back to normal. So the car only has 80,000 miles on it. Well, closer to 90,000, it's like 89K. But I've done maintenance on this thing pretty regularly. I got all the supporting mods. I got the air oil separator. I have the Killer Bee oil pickup and baffle. I have the access port. Now I didn't get a Pro 2 and I probably should have done that, but I didn't really have the funds for that one quite yet. Not only that, but I also had big plans for this car as I wanted to put a front mount and build the motor up and all this good stuff. So yeah, it's wonderful how uh, things can take a turn very fast, but uh, we never quit. We're gonna be doing a little burping of the cooling. I was hoping for the best here, guys. I'm, I'm either assuming maybe it's it's an old cap or or maybe there's just air in the system. So what I have in front of me, guys, is this spill-proof funnel kit. This is the tool that's gonna help us in burping out all the air that's in the coolant system that uh, that's causing our overheating issues. And then, as a safety measure as well, I went ahead and bought a radiator cap. You know, this thing's 10 years old, guys, so th there's there's a, could be a chance that these caps aren't holding pressure like they used to. So I got replacement ones and... Well, as you guys could tell, I'm doing all the cheap repairs first. And then if that doesn't work, then it's going to point to some bigger issues, which then we will have to... Uh, we'll have to call the surgeon, guys. We will have to call the surgeon. I don't even know who he is. It's a gander at this thing here. Nice little instructions, color matching, brilliant. There's no way to mess up here. It's the funnel, so we have little extensions. When doing this process, we're going to be dealing with this guy over here. Come on, buddy. You're embarrassing me. Oh my god. This thing looks pretty beat up and old. Good thing we're replacing it. So let's go ahead and find the one that fits. So we're working here in the upper reservoir tank. We have our little uh, fitting here and it's color coding. Really helping me out on this one here. I was struggling to figure this out, but should tighten back up like the normal cap. And that is in place. We go and grab our funnel, slip that in and we should be able to start to fill this sucker up with coolant. Oscar, let's do it right now. We'll do it live, guys. We'll do it live. We got some of that super coolant. And remember, the vehicle is cold. Ooh, that's a lot. I'm starting to fill up the air. starting to hold now we're gonna we're not gonna fill up the whole thing guys that would be preposterous what we're gonna do is do about a third maybe a 
to this line or so. Whoa! Speaking to me. All right. Maybe a little more. The Subaru's trying to tell me something here. What is it, boy? What is it? You're just overheating? It's, it's cooling problems, boy? It's just cooling problems, right? Okay. Wonderful. Decent amount filled up there. Remember, while the vehicle's on, it's going to be... This coolant level is going to be rising or lowering, depending on all the cycles it has to go through. So let's go ahead and turn the car on. There we go. I turned down the heater, but it's still it's slowly starting to go up. Not too bad. We got a flashlight. So one of the other symptoms that I saw was that when you check your coolant, you'll either see little bubbles of oil in there or vice versa. If you check your oil, you might see a little bit of coolant in there. If that is the case, then your heads are probably lifting and that confirms pretty much the heads that's uh, going out. So as of now, I don't really see, I mean, it's only been about 15 minutes. I don't really see any oil there yet, but we're still going. Guys, we got visual on the funnel here. Why? We're gonna go to 3K here. all those bubbles guys we got some bubbles growing up there I'll do it again at 3k yep yep all right guys it's been about like 20 minutes now a little bit more and I haven't noticed oh, oh, the occasional bubble every now and then but I haven't really noticed much else it's just been vibrating and shaking We've been here for about 30 minutes guys and we just uh, I think finished taking out all the air from uh, from the coolant system or at least most of it. There was still like an air bubble or two out there but for 30 minutes guys running this car we had the heater on blast I think it was at maxed out. Uh, I revved the engine to 2 to 3k held it for a little bit and then you saw air bubbles came out so that kind of helps the process a little bit um, just revving it a couple of times. This kit came with this little plunger piece here. I'm gonna go ahead and plunge it up. Well, it feels hot. I think we're in there. I'm not so sure, but we'll put a little paper towel around there just in case. All right, now we've got this thing capped up, sealed in place. We can pop out the funnel and reload that back into our coolant thing. Confirm with me if this is uh, how your coolant should uh visually look like. Here's our old cooling cap. Pretty old. 10 years old. 